Hello, my name is Randy Dobson and I'm an instructor here in the Houston, Texas area. And this video is actually going to not be an AutoCAD video, but it's information on the do's and don'ts of uh, going for an interview, what to do before, what to do during, and what to do after. And of course, this isn't an all-encompassing, it's not a, uh, you know, everything is here you need to do your own investigation the internet has just tons and tons of information on do's and don'ts and what to say and what not to say uh, but i will tell you that what i'm telling you here uh, has come from a company that has hired some of my quite a few of my students for internships uh, and i've talked to several hr people about it and they've kind of helped me modify this and I just kind of want to go over it to make sure students understand it. You may not agree with it, but uh, believe me, if you follow this, you're going to be giving your, your best chance to, uh, uh, you know, get a job offer. Uh, one of the first things is whenever you do get that interview appointment, uh, you want to go by the location. If a company says they're at, you know, one, two, three, four Main Street, you need to go there and see that that company is at that location. I have had in the past where they, I did not check that and got there and they had moved, uh, and then I was rushing to get to my interview. Uh, one of the things I always tell students is, you know, here it says notice if you cross railroad tracks. If there's another route you can take where you don't cross railroad tracks, I would use that one because if you have my luck, you'll get caught by a train. And again, uh, the, you're, if it makes you to be late, it's just not a good way to start off. Um, you know, when, when you go for your interview, you don't want to give the interviewer any reason not to hire you. Okay, with that said, uh, the ladies, you can wear, you know, one pair of earrings. Uh, for the gentlemen, do not wear earrings. And also for the ladies, don't wear piercings. You know, you you may say, yes, I have a right to wear that. And you're absolutely 100% correct. But they also have a right not to hire you because of that. Uh, because that is not protected under the federal laws. Uh, you know, also with tattoos, if you can, cover your tattoos up with clothing. Uh, again, I know you shouldn't have to do that, but if you get the job, then you can, you know, if you're wearing long sleeve shirts, you know, and you wear a short sleeve, you know, it's, it's a minor inconvenience if you have to, uh, but, uh, you know, I just, again, you don't want to give them reasons not to hire you. Uh, always wear something nice. I think that goes without saying. Uh, sports, uh, 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 you know, dress slacks and, and, a, and a button shirt or even a polo shirt would probably be okay. No t-shirts, no tennis shoes, even fancy tennis shoes. Uh, you know, no working boots. Uh, you know, you, you know, you want to just come dress nice. If you want to wear a suit, the ladies can wear, you know, a dress, a blouse, or if they want to wear pants, pants suit, that's fine. Minimize the jewelry. You don't need to go in there flashing it like you're some, uh, rap star. So, uh, you know, wear the minimum amount of jewelry. Uh, when you do come, get you a manila folder and bring a copy of your resume, a couple copies if you want. Uh, and if you've got school work that you've printed out, uh, bring that or have it available on your phone on PDF. Um, these are things that uh, just to be prepared, they, they want to, uh, they're going to like that. Uh, I went for an interview last year where I got the job I'm in now and I got there and they, he didn't want to go back to his office to get the, the resume and he asked me if I had a copy and I said yes. So, you know, I, I made a, a plus right there. Uh, the biggest thing is don't be late. Okay, unless you're just covered with grease and you've got a, you know, a, a you know, a little donut tire on your car, uh, do not show up late. Uh, that is the number one worst thing that you can do. Uh, I know that there's excuses. There was an accident, uh, whatever. Uh, but that's why the next one I say arrive 15 to 20 minutes early. Uh, 
Uh, if it takes you 20 minutes to drive there, you need to leave 45 minutes to an hour beforehand. It's better to just wait out in the parking lot or if you see the location, stop and, you know, if there's a, a fast food restaurant or a uh, convenience store, have a snack, you know, mess with your phone in the car for a little bit, uh, but get there early. Uh, then go in about 10 minutes before your appointment time. Uh, as a new AutoCAD user, you can't really sell your experience because you don't have it. You've got to promote yourself. Okay. If they want you to take an AutoCAD test, you know, I, I recommend students ask them what version it is. If it's not 2018 or 17 or 16 that you're familiar with, if they say, well, we're using 2005, ask them if you can have a couple of minutes to just uh, get acquainted with it. Uh, uh, since you haven't learned on that, uh, but if they say no, just do the best you can. So just say okay, not a problem. You always have your command line to type in commands if you need to. Uh, so um, you know, don't don't blame anything. Go in, take your test, do whatever you need to do. Shake their hand, thank them. Uh, you know, employees are looking. Employers are looking for employees that will be dependable, self-motivated. You know, all these I've got highlighted here on the screen. These are words you want to bring up in your interview. Uh, and, you know, these are very important. They're, they're, they're trigger words for them that they, they like to hear. Uh, and, of course, be honest with your answers. Speak confident in your answers. Okay, not every answer is going to be yes. Sometimes it will be no. But again, you you uh, validate that that they that they know that you don't know everything. Uh, uh, you know, I I try to get students to turn a negative into a positive. They may say, "Well, have you ever worked with uh, SolidWorks?" And if you haven't, you can say, no, I haven't, but if it's needed, I will do whatever it takes to learn it, even if I have to, you know, get the software in a book and learn it on the weekends. Uh, so now you've turned a negative into a positive. Uh, try to make a personal connection with your interviewer, okay? Uh, you know, like here I say, if you see military uniform pictures and you have family in the military, somehow bring that into the conversation. Uh, it's not to make brownie points, but it's to to make that connection. And uh, I'm just I'm going to show you this here real quick. If I can slide it over, this is my favorite example. Y'all have all seen this commercial. We'll just watch it real quick. Where all the men are waiting for an interview, and they all look the same. They all look nice dressed, but he notices something, so he goes and of course gets a shaver shaves all his hair off. I want to move it forward. Well, look at all the previous owners up here. They're all bald. Well, he comes out, he's bald. So now he's made a relation with that uh, interviewer that will make him stand out. I know it's kind of silly, but those things uh, can happen. Uh, after the interview, uh, you know, send a thank you. Uh, you know, if they, if you Communicate it through email. Uh, send them an email. Uh, if if it was through the phone, if you can leave them a voice message, do that. Or even if you can go by there and just drop off a thank you note. And here is an example. One second here. That I have that say it's Mr. Miss Smith. I appreciate you taking the time to interview me yesterday, and I wanted to thank you for that opportunity. Have a nice day. And then your name. Notice I didn't ask about the position or anything associated with it. Don't ever do that. You are thanking them, not interrogating them. Okay, you don't want to say, thank you for the time. I'll await your decision. You don't want to say anything like that. Uh, one thing that I haven't added to this list, which is very important, is when you go for an interview, do not, and I repeat, do not bring up salary or money first. They may interview you for an hour, and when they're done, they might say, well, you know, Mr. or Mrs. Smith, do you, do you have any questions? You can, if you don't have any other than the salary, just say, no, I don't. Shake their hand and walk out. Don't say, oh, yeah, by the way, how much am I going to get paid? No, do not bring it up. Let them bring it up first. Once they bring it up, then you can talk about it. But do not bring that up ever as the first thing, okay? 
Uh, again, they want to see confidence. Uh, you know, go to the the internet uh, uh, and you know read up on interviewing. It, it it is an art form. Even if you're not looking for a job, if you have an interview uh, uh, opportunity, go on the interview just to learn some things. Uh, because nobody ever does one perfect, and and uh, it's it's best to just get as much practice as you can. Uh, don't ever tell anybody that you're not really looking for a job, but you can go if you get an interview opportunity, take it and uh, learn from it. And that concludes my videos uh, video on interviewing information. Thank you.